Welcome to the Irrigation Organization's Web Map application at the Idaho Department of Water Resources. The tools in this application allow users to search for and find irrigation organizations in Idaho and to print a map. Use the Find Irrigation Organization tool to view a list of organizations. Click on an organization in the list. The map will zoom to that boundary highlight it, and provide a pop-up with the name. To close the tool, click on the X in the upper right-hand corner. Use the Home button to go back to the full extent of the map. Another way to explore the map is to zoom in, pan around, and click. If more than one feature exists in this location, you can scroll through the results by clicking on the arrow in the upper right-hand corner of the pop-up window. As you scroll through the list of results, each boundary will be highlighted and the information about that organization will appear in the pop-up. To close the pop-up, click on the X in the upper right-hand corner. As you can see in this map, some polygons are darker than others. This shows that there is an overlap. Using the Filter by Organization tool can adjust the view in the map to show only the organization of interest. In this case, I'm going to type the word Milner and then click Apply. I close the Filter by Organization tool by clicking on the X in the upper right hand corner and now we see only the Milner Irrigation Organization. Remove the filter, open the tool, and click on the check mark in the upper right hand corner. A question that is often asked is whether a property is within an irrigation organization's boundaries. One way this question can be answered is to search on an address. In the search window at the top left hand corner of the map, enter an address, and then click on the search icon. The map will zoom to that address. In order to determine the irrigation boundary that is overlying this address, click on the map and the pop-up for that organization will appear. Another way to find a location is to search on Township Range. Two searches have been configured for this application, one for searching by an address or place, and another one for searching by Township Range. By default, all searches are interrogated for a match. In this case, I am only interested in the Township Range search. I will clear the previous search by clicking on the X in the search bar. And now I'm going to enter my township range. I click the search icon and I am brought to the township range that I entered in the search bar. I'm now going to clear the search so I can see what lays under it. You may notice that the township range lines do not appear even though I was brought to the correct location. There are many layers available in the map. To view the layers in the map, click on the Layers icon. You will notice that the Township Range layer is not turned on. Let's turn on Township Range, Section, and Quarter Quarter. The Quarter Quarter layer is grayed out. At this scale, showing the Quarter Quarters would be very messy. However, as I zoom in to a closer scale, the Quarter Quarters appear. In the Layers window, click on the arrow to the left to view the symbol for that layer. Click on the ellipses to the right for additional options for that layer. From here, the user can zoom to the extent of the layer, change the transparency of the layer, disable or enable the pop-up for that layer, change the order of the layers in the map, open the attribute table, or show item details, such as a description of the data. Let's open the attribute table. The attribute table appears at the bottom of the map. Each row in the table represents a feature. Clicking on a row selects it and will highlight it in the map. To zoom to that selection, double click on that row. The user can clear the selection or look at other options including filtering from this location. Sort data in the table, click on the column header to close the attribute table, click on the attribute table icon in the lower right hand corner of the map. Let's also close the layers window. You may prefer a different base map in your map. Click on the base map gallery icon at the bottom of the map. From the gallery, select your base map. Let's go through some of these steps again as a review and in preparation for printing a map. First, I'm going to find an irrigation organization. In this case, I'm going to pick on Eastern Idaho Irrigation Company. Find it in my list, click on it, and there it is. 
I'm going to close my Find tool, and now I'm going to Filter so I can view just the Eastern Idaho Water Company. Close my Filter tool. To print this map, I will click on the Print icon at the bottom. When the Print dialog opens, I will type in a title to my map. Since my map is laid out in a more elongated way than upright, I'm going to select the landscape orientation for the map. I'm happy with a PDF format, so I will leave that and click Print. The print service is now busy creating my print. You will notice that my print has the number one next to it. It's possible to create many prints in a session. You can then view each one, decide whether to keep it or not. Click on the print to preview. The print will open in a browser from which you can print or save or both. Now that you know how to find an irrigation organization and how to print a map, I will leave you with one more tool to help you find your way. In the upper right hand corner of the map is an icon with a question mark. These are instructions for using this application. If you find that you have forgotten how to use a tool, click on the help icon to open the instructions for this application. Happy mapping!